Hello, Jono here with Resident Evil 2, the new one, obviously. Uh, I was actually going to wait quite a while before getting into this, but I've been avoiding everything I can regarding this game, and YouTube is just flooded with Resident Evil 2 at the moment. So I thought, fuck it, may as well just get into it so I can actually uh, not worry about spoilers or anything like that, and, and just enjoy the game. Um, I'm guessing this is the main menu. It just pops up. No, no title or anything. Like, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll start with Leon's uh, campaign. And then, yeah, we'll do Claire's after that. Um, I'm going to go for 30 minute episodes. Seems based on what I'm seeing online. People's first playthroughs have been taking, you know, 8 to 10 hours. Um, yeah, I'm... Very much looking forward to this. I'm, like I said, kept away from as much as I can. I've seen Mr. X. I've seen little bits and pieces, but I've tried to refrain from everything else. Um, one thing with Leon especially, I'm hoping they improve his relationship with Ada. To be honest, I always hated in the original how he's madly in love. Well, not madly in love, but... Yeah, he, he has such feelings for Ada, despite having known her for like 12 hours, and, and even then, most of the time, they're not together. Who are you? Ada, wait! I don't think I've introduced myself yet. Ada, wait! Where are you going, Ada? Ada, wait! Hey! Running off like that was reckless and stupid! I'm just... A woman who fell in love with you. Nothing more. No. Ada! Yeah, that pretty much sums up Leon's relationship with Ada. And then I remember Resident Evil 3 at the end, they, um, they, one of the little I can't remember what they were called. They were like title cards for different characters when you completed the game. There were about eight of them. And one of them was for Ada. So I was like, holy shit, she did survive. They actually confirmed that she survived. It's amazing. And then Resident Evil 4 came out and I knew she was in that. And it took me years to get around to playing that. And I was really looking forward to Leon's encounter with Ada. And when she did show up, Leon was kind of like, oh, you are alive. Hi. And I was like, oh, that was disappointing. But then even in Resident Evil 6, yeah, Leon's always got this theme of Ada, and I'm like, why? I don't get why. I mean, imagine Leon sitting next to a woman on like a 12-hour flight. By the end of it, he'd be proposing. So I'm really hoping they fix that. But enough, uh, enough dilly-dallying, let's get into it. Okay, the normal gameplay mode for hardcore fans of the series Saving requires an ink ribbon, no autosave stronger enemies. Uh, 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 I guess, yeah, I guess I'll be doing that one. The autosave would be kind of nice, but I think I'll do, I'll do hardcore. I got screwed when doing the Resident Evil remake, because the difficulty theme was, I like climbing up mountains, I like walking along. And there were three options, and I picked the middle one, thinking, that must be normal. And it turned out there was very easy, easy, and normal. So I got fucked. At least this is a lot more straightforward. So screw it, we'll do hardcore. Requires the use of ink ribbons to save, in addition, no autosave. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy, I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story, tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night, I was... Walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze 
Oh, come on. It's just getting good. That beer looks pretty good. Not just graphically, but like a tasty burger. I need some sleep. Oh shit! I'll wake you up. What do I do? What am I gonna do? ones around That's weird Ah oh. Okay, I was thinking, man, this is going to be quite a long um, intro. I can walk, but immediately I want to run. Welcome to some city. Home of Umbrella. Okay. Dingoey cigarettes. Now on sale. Weird. We did that have a hard out sign so they're on sale, unless they mean for sale. Okay, we got a cop car. Anything in it for us? No. Is this the same type of gas station from Resident Evil 3? A little wine to wind down the day. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Something's not right. Really? For a cop, you're not terribly observant. Pringles. You all right? You gonna say anything? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Where is he pointing? Maybe you should go back to that cop car and radio it in. Stop moving, officer. You need help. Stay back, sir. I got this. Christian Slater. Oh. Guess that was kind of our fault. Freeze! I'll shoot. Ugh. God what was with that guy? That was a clean hit. I'm on danger. Already? I hope that's scripted.
God, he took a lot of shots to the head. I'm wondering if hardcore was a mistake for the first playthrough. I guess I should shoot him in the head too, but... Um... Alright, there's a key. Ooh. I'll be examining this. Key! Storage room, okay. Ah. A well-worn key. Open inventory. Oh, okay, so you can quick... Uh, map weapons. Matilda. Map. I got my orientation letter. Officer Leon S. Kennedy, on behalf of the RPD, congratulations on completing your training. Your especially high marks are to be commended, and we couldn't be prouder to have you as a member of our force. Please report for orientation at the Raccoon City Police Department on Friday, September 25th at 8am. We look forward to serving with you. From the Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Irons. So it's actually set in 1998. Interesting. I, I just, I don't know why it keeps telling me about my inventory. I get it. Um, I just kind of figured it was set in modern day. Oh, for real? This can't be. One. I guess I'm gonna run. That guy just doesn't seem to die. I, I'm really hoping that they're not all that tough. Hey, what are you doing? The door won't open. Quick! <laughs> Do I have to kill this guy? I don't want to risk shooting. I got two bullets. Right, oh, hang on. The key. Maybe I have to select it. Um. Examine and combine. There's no use option. Ah, oh, yep. Let me spin it around. A key to the gas station's storage room. But we can't use it. Was there another door? I keep feeling like I should be able to do a melee. Whoops. Now I'm out of ammo and I'm probably dead. Yep. Well, that's bad start. Dead to the very first fucking enemy. You are dead. All right. You all right? Yeah. Three points. Don't move. Yeah. And don't lock the fucking door. Okay. Yeah. I didn't check down this other halfway. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got. Let's just skip that. Freeze! I'll shoot. Oh my god. Well, at least I'm only on orange now. Damn it. Son of a bitch. There. There, you did? That was like real fucking crazy. Yeah, so there's another door, okay. Yeah. Alright. I wanted to check the lockers. Damn it, that'd be my, my thought, like... Grab the key. And then check that other way for ammo, at least. Come on, pick it up. Uh, okay. That's a little... Unnecessary. This can't be. Okay. Using key items. When you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item and then uh, use command. Uh, 
Oh, oh god. No, 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 no. Get off, get off. Am I dead? I really hope I'm not dead again. Uh, I'm on danger. Oh, fuck me. This is just crazy. Alright, yeah, I understand. Alright, team number three. Yeah, fall over, god. Alright, at least I didn't get grabbed by him. Why did I commit to, um... To hardcore. They see the enemies would be tougher, sure. Alright. But I, uh, wasn't quite expecting, like, oh, and everything, like, fucking takes like 30 shots. Haha. Uh -huh. You missed. But go Leon! Christ. Who's this asshole? Don't shoot! Get down! Nice. So that one goes down in one hit. You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later. When we're safe. Holy shit. Hopefully the cutscene will get me out of this situation. Come on! Get in! Hold on. Yeah, a rough start. Far out. I keep kind of thinking of melee, maybe from playing Revelations 2. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Well, just... Just because he said... Live around here? ...that have answers no. at the police station doesn't mean he's a cop, brother. necessarily. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I mean, I imagine being like, oh, let's head to, to the anymore. police station. Here we go. I was wondering when they were going to actually drop the title. I thought it would be weird if they didn't. And this serves as a nice uh, star. I always disliked how Leon and Claire just drive into Raccoon City and there's absolutely no signs of any chaos until they're like in the middle of the city and then it's like, oh, this whole city is like this. You see all this, but there's none of that. They drive through and every street's just completely normal and tidy. There's no signs of like, you know, a giant outbreak. So having it happening on the outskirts makes way more sense. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon There's still City a lot of plot station. holes. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. Maybe not. Call. 
Reverse. It's a maniac. Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! Hold on! Just break! <laughs> Why would he not break? It's like a rule of horror movies. No matter what's going on when you're driving, you never break. That's the last thing you want to do. You gotta to continue to drive as fast as you can. Even if someone's in the back seat strangling you or whatever's happening, you drive. Oh, Claire's dead. Oh no. dead. Now see, if I die right here and the Claire, game makes me start from the Claire, very beginning, okay? I might just revert to normal for the auto saving. Because yeah. I'm alright. How about you? Yeah. I do not want to. I don't mind manually saving, but I don't want to have to like keep doing the same segment the again and again. Turn around and run. Really? Uh, I don't know which way to go. Maybe this way. Uh, can I climb over? No. Watch out that guy. I had heard that there was no fixed Shit. camera. It's everybody. All turned. I had mixed feelings. I was kind of hoping they would do more of a like the remake of Resident Evil where it was fixed but the camera slightly the station. moved. But you know, in here it actually works quite well. Oh, that didn't take too long to get to. And I'm pretty sure there's no Second scenario is Leon and Clear. Lock it. All right. Um, to be honest, I would have liked walking through the city a little more because that was such an amazing start to the original compared to the uh, beginning of Resident Evil. Where, ah, okay. I haven't actually looked at the trophy list. Um, Resident Evil had that nice slow beginning. So to start the game off, and there's just like all the zombies. I remember when first playing it, it took me forever to get to the police station. Nice. Um, yeah, it took me forever to get to the police station because I'd just try and shoot all of them. And could never survive. I mean, it took me a few hours before I actually thought maybe I should um just run. It's kind of a foreign. No, I don't want to crawl under the yet. Um, kind of a foreign idea back then to have enemies where the idea wasn't to actually fight them. Is that ammo? No, it's bakery breed. I don't need bread. Hello? Is anybody here? Better looking layout too. An ink ribbon and a typewriter. Yay! And what's this? RPD. Camera. There has to be someone here. Here's someone. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. I'm gonna just. He's worse than I am.
these tall wire find that guy. And all right. Making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest in items you have found but haven't picked up. Cool. Uh, so I guess that's where we're trying to get the watchman's room. Ah, I was going to say, is there any toilets in this police station? The original didn't. No one needed to do their business. Um, I'm going to save. Don't know how many of these two. Okay. Yeah. And is there actually anything in here? No. Need some ammo. But, okay, we'll save. Not worried about my rank or anything. Obviously, um... I'm in no condition. Oh, is this first aid spray? I will take it. I have a thing about using them though. But right now, can't afford to be picky. I'm gonna have to be careful too, because items sort of blend in a little better. Now I'll probably do what I had done with Resident Evil, and that was just try to play the game in the order that I would have played it originally, which obviously would derail very quick. Three. Okay. Loving memory of those who served with the valor of lions, the nobility of unicorns, and whose ultimate sacrifice is as pure as the maiden of old? So I guess we need a lion, a unicorn, and maybe a maiden. Now, I wonder if that's explosive or just decorative. So normally, we would run over to here. It's locked. And it has a spade. Yes, it's a spade. Alright. Ah! Oh, another fish, harp, woman, jug, bird, lion. They said lion, is there a unicorn? I don't think so. No, closest is that. Hmm. I thought that there'd be an emblem there anyway. Um. Yeah, see what I mean? Already, already things are derailed. I guess that shutter that I opened. Be heading that way. And I really hope I just come across some ammo. All right, scoot under there. Hopefully there's no one. Okay. Is there a way to turn off the um torch? I don't know if Ah, okay. Need a circuit breaker or something. Let's check the map, okay. Choose box, okay, and taped box. Got this statue. I guess we'll go around, I don't want to go through. Shoes. You got this. Uh, I can't open that. Anyone in there? Toilet paper. Door. I'm not gonna try just yet. Oh, 
I did say hold. Let's just tidy up a bit. Here we are. Good as new. What's that? Doesn't seem to be anything. We're not interested in that right now. Jesus. Okay. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Who's saying it? And where? I thought I saw an item on the ground, but. Okay, something goes there maybe. He's still got his hat on. But I'll no. get you out. Please, give me your help. Me. I got you. Good thing you're holding on to that book. If anything happens to you. Just like that. And in there. <laughs> Don't worry, once they eat through you, I'll. Yeah. You're okay now. Looks like your party's been cancelled. Officer's notebook. Don't know why he would doodle the medallions, but okay, got his statue, three medallions. That moves, revealing a staircase down to question mark, then parking, and then way out. Okay, so the line. Ah, the answers are here. Well, that's cool. That's it, that's all he'd done. Did you have any ammo? Oh shit. Excuse me, I just wanted to go past. I just wanted to go past. Ow. Oh, caution. Fuck you. I don't have frickin' ammo. Jesus! They're everywhere! Shit, dear. Get on, no. I have no idea where I am, too. I'm dead. Yep. Fuck, I couldn't see. Um, ammo. Ammo's the biggest problem. Yep. This takes a little too long, to be honest. I get it. Yep, I'm dead. Alright, well, I'm actually going to try other rooms now because I mean I know where our objective is but no reason to miss stuff like that handgun ammo yay wait there's 12 bullets at least there I'm not sure how I feel about the inventory having an extra step. You know, you sort of pick it up and then you have to specifically pick where it goes. Okay, at least I got 12 bullets in my gun. Two extras. What's this? Lights. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit dark. Cool. So I'm glad... Glad I did that. Um, did I miss a door back? i am just check the map. Yeah, maybe we look in, the, in here if we can. Wait, is there... Nothing to read? Missing. Can't really make out the names. I think this is locked. Yeah. Or barricaded. Alright. Um. Uh, 
Wait, is there a little... Okay, that's the icon for the door. I thought... Might be for an eye, shall we? Yeah, it's not exactly easy to run past people. Okay. Well, here's your problem. Another first stage prey. Um, Alright, didn't seem to be anything else. Carry on. X opens up. Well, there might even be an option to like lock. I'll get you out. All right, I'm getting you out. I will skip. Actually, before all shit hits the fan, as you take damage, your health monitor in the bottom left will drop from fine to caution to danger. When in danger, quickly heal yourself with a green herb or first stage prey before it's too late. So, the lion is a lion, a twig, and a bird. So if I die, I might just fucking go and do that and see what happens. Right. Ugh. Oh, God. oh god, my aim is terrible. Thanks, officer. Our door opened somewhere and I... Run my tail. Jesus! They're everywhere! Oh my god. Ah, that was not enough! Nah, this is terrible. Okay, thanks for at least not... ...immediately, um... ...grabbing me. Well, I made it. I'm not happy at how that went. Another officer, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Hmm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take Ooh. stop. 
don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Combat knife. Equip on the inventory screen to use. This knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. Aww. Can be used to counterattack when you are caught by an enemy. Can only be retrieved once you defeat them. Alright. Ready, sub weapon plus attack. I assume. Wiping it, nothing won't wear it down. Ah, uh, well. Well, that's it for this episode. I am doing poorly. Hardcore mode. You can see why it's called hardcore mode. Part of me is starting to think maybe I should just start again on normal for the sake of a let's play and do hardcore when I've actually become more familiar with the game. I might sleep on it. Um, so, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and take it easy.